Rusty the dog has been traveling in time and has been intrigued to see all the skills that people used to have with making things. He went all the way back to the Stone Age to see how people lived a long, long time ago. Why is the Stone Age called the Stone Age? Well, before people had worked out how to make tools from metal, they used other natural materials, including stone, bone, antler and wood. The Stone Age is the name we have given to a bit of history thousands of years ago, when people were using a lot of stone tools. They made axes, arrows, spears, knives, various other items out of a type of stone called flint. The process of making a tool from flint is called flint napping. It is very skilled and takes a long time to learn. People would have learnt how to do this by watching others, so we are going to watch a stone axe head being made. You would take a big piece of flint and gradually shape it by hitting it in a particular way with another smaller stone or with a piece of antler. Little shards break off as you hit it and a shape will very slowly emerge. Axe heads were often shaped a bit like a raindrop with a curve on one side and a point on the other. You have to shape the flint very slowly because if you make a mistake and hit it in the wrong place then a big piece might break off where you didn't want it to and you would have to start all over again. Once you have finished shaping the axe head, then you would need to place it into a shaft of wood to serve as the handle. You would hold it in place using lengths of string and animal sinew, or with sticky tree resin that would dry hard like glue. Once people were able to make metal tools, they gradually changed over to using them as well. But metal was very difficult to make, so the change wouldn't have been instant, and both stone and metal tools would have been used alongside each other for a long time. After the Stone Age came the Bronze Age, and then the Iron Age. If you would like to find out more about these other bits of history, then you can join Rusty on his adventures by heading to the Western Museum website.